Hey there, this is Tyler from WTFX. Today we're focusing on blurs and the subtle differences between them. Let's dive in. The bilateral blur effect blurs the low contrast areas of an image while preserving the areas with the highest contrast. The smart blur effect blurs the areas of low contrast while preserving the edges and areas of high contrast. Both also work by blending together similar colors instead of just blurring the image. Though they sound like they do do the same thing, do do. There are some particular differences between them. Increasing the radius in the bilateral blur basically blurs the image, but also be aware that you can lose some saturation. The threshold decides which areas are preserved. The higher the number, the more contrasting an area needs to be to be in focus. The colorized box is simple. Unchecked means no color, check means there is color. The radius for the smart blur blends areas of similar color inside the lines, giving the appearance of a blur, but you still have those nice, crisp edges. The higher the threshold, the more contrast the area needs to be in focus. The mode selection can also give you some fun results. Normal means that the effect is applied to the whole image, while the edge only and overlay edge options apply only to the edges of high contrast. Edge only turns those high contrast edges white, while turning the rest of the image black. Overlay Edge does the same thing except instead of turning the rest of the image black, it simply applies the white lines over the image helping to make those edges pop. Whether you like the soft dreamlike effect of the bilateral blur or the crisp edges of the smart blur, I think there's one thing we all can agree on. Cats and powdered wigs are adorable. Thanks for watching.